Kia Cadence has finally been launched in India with prices in the range of rupees 8.99 lakh to rupees 16.99 lakh All India Introductory X showroom. It's Kia's fourth product for the Indian market and is available in five trim levels across eight color options and with three powertrain options. We have already reviewed the Kia Cadence and you can find a link in the description below. What's more, if you want variant wise details and state wise pricing, that's also available in the description below. Now, SUVs have been the flavor of the decade, but with Kia already having two major products in two very competitive segments, it looked like they wanted to take a new approach to bring in a three row vehicle. And thus, we have the Cadence. Now, while the Cadence may look like a niche product, it actually has quite a few competitors both above and below it. Well, let's find out how it stacks up against each of its competitors. First up is the Maruti Suzuki XL6, which is actually the Kia Cadence's biggest competitor. Prices are in the range of Rs. 10.01 lakh to Rs. 11.85 lakh average X showroom. It's powered by a 1.5-litre petrol engine and can be had with either a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic. There's no diesel or CNG option for the XL6. It has all the basic features one would expect in this price range and its USP is of course that it has captain seats for the second row. The Ertiga is the XL6 more budget-friendly cousin and is priced in the range of Rs 8.11 lakh to Rs 10.84 lakh. It has almost the same feature list as the XL6 but you get a bench seat for the second row. And like the XL6, it too lacks a diesel engine but does get a mid-level CNG variant. The cadence over both these cars is 40mm longer and has an additional 20mm in its wheelbase. It also offers a GDI turbo petrol with a 7-speed DCT and has more features as you move up the variant list. What's more, the cadence has diesel engine option across the range with higher spec versions even getting the option of a two-pedal setup. However, one of the Karen's aces over the two cars is that it offers rear disc brakes, tyre pressure monitoring system, rear parking sensors and six airbags across the range. The next biggest target after the Maruti Suzuki XL6 and Ertiga for the Kia Karen's is the Mahindra Marazzo. On sale since 2018, it was Mahindra's approach to tackle the MPV segment and a replacement for its Xylo SUV. There are six versions and it can be had either as a 7-seat or 8-seat model. The range is priced from Rs 12.79 lakh to Rs 15 lakh average X showroom. It is offered only in a diesel manual configuration. The Marazzo might be longer than the Cadence, but it is the latter that has the longest wheelbase. In fact, among the lot of cars that we are discussing today, the Cadence has the longest wheelbase of any of them. The Cadence has more features like a bigger touchscreen, digital instrument cluster and an air purifier. However, it is similarly matched to the Marazzo in terms of features like rear disc brakes, roof mounted air vents for the second row and practicality and ease of use in both the 7 and 8 seat versions. In terms of power trains, the Cadence has the upper hand as it has petrol manual and automatic in its list of options. Finally, the Marazzo has a 3 years 1 lakh warranty while the Cadence gets a 3 years unlimited warranty. Third on the list is the Toyota Innova Cresta. The Toyota Innova has been on sale since 2005 and is the absolute king of the hill when it comes to MPVs. Priced in the range of Rs 17.30 lakh to Rs 25 lakhs average X showroom, it sits right at the top of the MPV segment, selling in numbers quite unheard of in that part of the market. This price also means that it's about two segments higher than the Cadence. It is longer and wider than the Kia. But if you look at the base spec Innova and fully loaded Cadence, it's the latter that has more features and of course, the longest wheelbase on offer. The Cadence also offers six airbags across the range, while this version of the Innova only gets two airbags. The petrol engine on offer with the Innova produces more power than all of the Cadence engines, but is evenly matched in terms of torque when compared to the 1.4 litre GDI petrol as well as the 1.5 litre diesel of the Cadence range. The Innova also gets a bigger fuel tank and is rear wheel drive. 
comparing these two versions comes into play for those who want an MPV but without wanting to pay the overall premium that the Innova Cresta commands. Like the Toyota Innova Cresta, the Hyundai Alcazar is also a competitor for the Kia Karen. But like the Toyota Innova Cresta, it's priced higher and in a higher segment. And thus, the higher versions of the Kia Karens compete with the mid and entry level versions of the Hyundai Alcazar. Here, if we look at the top spec Karens Diesel AT versus the entry level Alcazar, they are equally matched in terms of features, space and layout. However, the Karens has a longer wheelbase, six airbags as standard across the range and leather upholstery over the entry-level version of the Alcazar. But like we said, SUVs have been the flavour of the decade and in that respect, the Alcazar will always have an advantage over the Karens when it comes to initial appeal, even if we are looking at top spec to base variant. The Hyundai Alcazar's price range is Rs 16.34 lakh to Rs 20.15 lakh ex showroom. The Mahindra XUV700 has been the absolute talk of the automotive town in 2021. It's been making inroads into the segment with huge sales numbers and has been a successor to the XUV500. But like the Toyota Innova Crista and the Hyundai Alcazar, it's a more expensive vehicle in a higher segment and thus higher versions of the Kia Karens compete with the mid and entry level versions of the Mahindra XUV700. Similar to the Alcazar, it's a bigger vehicle in a higher price range and thus the upper sections of the Cadence variants compete with the entry-level MX and mid-spec AX petrol and diesel models of the XUV700. The feature list of both vehicles is evenly matched, but in terms of performance, the XUV700, despite not having an automatic option at this price point, has bigger engines with better performance. Like the Alcazar, it is an SUV and thus will always have that advantage over the Karens even in the lower spec versions that we have compared. The Mahindra XUV700 price range is Rs 12.96 lakh to Rs 23.80 lakh ex showroom. As you can see, the Kia Cadence has quite a bit going for it in terms of the competition. And with over 19,000 bookings at the time of launch, Kia has its hands full with the Cadence. But like we said, the competition has also ramped up the game and the Cadence has a, quite a tough fight on its hands. For all the details on the Kia Cadence, do visit our website carvalier.com. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Carvalier YouTube channel. Also, what do you think about the Kia Karens against the competition? Do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.